What's up guys, Shannon here at That Tile Chick. Today I'm coming at you with something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a DIY project with my sister and teaching her how to use some power tools. We're going to be making a custom house sign. Stay tuned. What's up guys, welcome back. So today I have my sister Shauna here. Hi. We are going to be teaching her how to use some power tools and also make a DIY house sign with tools provided by Home Depot. So let's get started. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Shauna, have you ever used power tools before? I have not. Okay. So this is great because Shauna is getting ready to purchase her first home and I want to make sure that she knows how to use some basic tools. Um, and I think Ryobi is a fantastic brand for some beginners or DIYers. And so I put this project together specifically to highlight these three tools. This is the Ryobi impact gun, the Ryobi drill and driver, and the Ryobi jigsaw. All right, guys. So if you want to follow along and make this project as well, Check the link below for all the supplies and materials you need. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is mark out your piece of plywood. We've already determined that our sign's going to be 16 inches tall and 16 inches wide, and it's going to be in the shape of a hexagon. So I marked the center of the board, and now we're marking out from the center eight inches in each direction. That will make 16 inches overall. We have to do eight inches from this way as well, in all directions. Okay, so just a quick explanation of how we went about making this hexagon. Basically, I knew that I wanted each, I wanted the sign to be 16 inches in total. So 16 inches in either direction. So starting with a center point, I found the center of the board. This is a two by two board. I marked my line at 12 inches and 12 inches, and then I did a grid. So every four inches, there's a box. And then I took a straight edge. Shauna, help me out. <laughs> Gotta get those lines crisp and straight. Yes. Then I went from, so it was over two boxes, two boxes. So each edge of the hexagon is the same distance. So I just marked edge to edge, edge to edge over two squares. If you use a grid, you can draw out your pattern. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the jigsaw and trace along these thick black lines because this will be our sign. So this is going to be the back, the base of our board and we are going to put the wood on half and tile on the other half. So. We're going to get started with that. I'm going to get a clamp to hold the wood down. And we'll that's start the with next these power tool. <laughs> so we're going to be using the Ryobi cordless jigsaw with a fine tooth blade on it. We want our cuts to be smooth. And I'm going to just go along this straight line here. First, I'm going to demonstrate, then I'm going to let Shauna try it out. So, all right, the blade. You want to line it up to your line, right? And you want to make sure that you're staying flat. I like to guide it with my other hand. And you don't want to start too close to the wood. You want to just start away from the wood a little bit. Then you can hit the trigger. Try the rest of the way. Don't push too much, like let the blade do the work, but you have to push it. Is it, it gonna not... naturally move in a straight line? No, you have to guide it. No!
Okay, not so bad. What do you think? That was easy. It was easy. So you want to do this cut? Good, perfect. Look at you, you're a natural. Here you go. Okay, so we just finished cutting the hexagon with the Ryobi cordless jigsaw. We're gonna move on to the next part of the project, which will be gluing on the wood pieces for the top half. Gotta have our snacks. So right now what we're doing is we're adding the adhesive, the liquid nail construction adhesive to the plywood. And I'm gonna place down our wood pieces. We have them numbered. This is our first one. And then I'm going to let it dry while we cut the tile. wooden pieces are drying, I cut my Schluter profile. This is optional. Um, I just cut it to the length. It's going to be uh, the divider between the wood and the tile. Now while that's drying, I took my tile and I flipped it upside down on its face and I traced out the bottom half of our hexagon onto here and now I'm going to cut it out using the Ruby tile cutter. So now I'm going to do this for the rest of the sides and then I will see how it fits. Alright, so I got the tile cut on the tile cutter. I fit it to see how it fit and it looks nice. Now I'm going to glue this on. Normally you would use thin set, a thin set mortar. However, since this is going to be hanging on the front of my house and it's thin set's going to add a good amount of weight, I went with a all-purpose construction adhesive that's good for outside so that it will adhere and not add too much extra weight to the side. Just for the record, this is not TCNA approved. This is a DIY project. I do not know how well this will hold up, so. Try at your own risk. Yes. And don't stand under the sign. <laughs> All right guys, so just a quick recap on what we did so far. We cut our hexagon, we um, added our wooden pieces for the top half and then added our tile at the bottom. We use construction adhesive for everything. It is um, a all-purpose construction adhesive, good for use outdoors. Um, yeah, so I use a Schluter profile in the middle um, at the where the tile terminates and meets the wood here. And then I will be adding numbers up top and then trimming it out tomorrow. So we're just gonna let this dry overnight and then we will finish it up tomorrow. Do you have anything to say? How did you like your jigsaw experience? It was easier than expected. Good. She killed it. It be a lot harder. I thought she killed it. So tomorrow we'll jigsaw these pieces off once they're completely dry so it's perfect. We'll just trace the wood, turn it around, and then we should be done. So we will see you tomorrow. And we're back. So last night we let everything dry overnight. So now we have our tile is adhered. Our profile is adhered and our wooden slats are adhered as well. Now all I'm going to do is flip this around on its face and I'm going to use the cordless jigsaw to trim it to the proper shape. Okay. What's our next step? Our next step is we are going to take the wood and we are going to make a frame for the hexagon just like you would a picture frame. Okay, let's go. 
So right now I am taking my piece of wood and I'm butting it up to the last angle that I cut. And I'm just going to get my mark by tracing it right here. Before I started, I found all the angles so I know which side each angle is on and I made a cut. So now I'm going to take my square and I'll mark it across here, cut it on the saw, and it will be perfect. So now we got all of our pieces cut. We have them fit into place. Everything's looking pretty good. We're going to glue them in with the same construction adhesive we've been using, one that we used for the tile and everything, and then let that dry. And then we can hang up the numbers and then hang it up. Got all of our pieces glued in tight. We're gonna let them dry for a little bit and plan out how we are going to put on our house numbers. We have to drill some holes through the wood and make sure it's centered. So we will do that next. Here's our progress. Added the trim, glued it on, we added some finished nails in just for extra precaution and extra sturdiness. Now we're going to add our house numbers. I taped these on here as a template because these ever built house numbers have a template on the back instead of fighting myself trying to measure this out. Made it easy, put it in the center. I'm going to demonstrate and then I'll let you do it after. All right, I'm gonna start here. Try to get on the center of the... Do you want me to like hold this one? Yeah, you can hold it. Are you going all the way through? Mm-hmm. You go. Ooh, Why? I don't wanna mess anything up. So go right on to that spot. Try to center it, yep. Is that centered? Yep, press the trigger. Do I like push down or? Yep. You can put your hand back here if you want, feel more comfortable. Wait, I think it's still in reverse. You technically don't have to switch it from forward to reverse for this. You could just press the trigger and pull it out. You know, you could go down and then up. You don't even have to stop. Go ahead, press. Press. Good. Now pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Yep. Perfect. Oh yeah, that was better. This one. This one? Mm hmm Nice. Alright, so now we have to switch our bit because the other half of our sign is tile. So we're going to use a tile bit. Exactly. So now the next step, we've completed the sign. We at attached our numbers we are good to go it's a little dusty i'm going to flip it over and i purchased these um d ring d ring hangers you can get them at home depot i chose them because they are secured with two screws and then they have a nice metal hook um, so that i can hang them on the house so now i'm going to use the ryobi impact gun with a phillips head and i'm going to hang them I already made a grid on the plywood yesterday when we started the project, so I know my hooks are going to go along these lines here. So it will be nice and straight. So I'll do this one, Shauna, and then I'll let you do the other one. So with this, you have to push.
Perfect. Nice job. So our hooks are installed. Sign is ready to go. Next step, I'm going to grab my concrete bit and I'm going to drill some holes into the brick and put some anchors in and we're ready to hang the sign. Woo! <laughs> Finally. <laughs> okay, so now we are getting ready to actually hang the sign on the house. So the first thing we did is we just located the level line on the actual house where we want the sign to hang. And then from there, we just made two little lines right here from where the hooks are going to go into the house. So now we are going to get ready to actually drill into the house and put the anchors in so we can finally get this sign on the wall. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do one and then I'll just demonstrate and then I'll have you do it after, okay? Once you get it started, you can go right to full power. Slow. 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 Press the button a little faster. Okay, you're good. So now she's hammering in the anchor. Give it a little bit more juice. Good. <laughs> you want to screw these in? You screwed it in? You don't just like twist it in? No, we have to screw it in with the drill. What do you think this is? I don't know. And leave a little bit out so that it's easy to hook on. Good. Good. Yeah, Shauna, Shauna. Okay, you have to press, okay, because you're going to strip the screw. You can't let it bounce. All right, so you want to hold this. <gasps> right, you want to... <laughs> you're doing the same thing! <sighs> okay, good. I need a ladder. And just push in? Yes. How fast should I press Start the off thing? slow. Perfect. You go a little faster. <laughs> That's it. All right. Are we ready to put up this infamous sign? Let's try yes. this out. Okay. Let's check it out. Give me a high five. Perfect. We did it. So we have our sign finally hung. So Shauna, what did you think about your first experience using power tools? It was scary, but I feel like I can probably cut a piece of wood successfully. <laughs> and you can um, drill nails, you can take measurements, you can build stuff, you can hang pictures, blinds. I'm set. You're set. So what was your favorite tool? The jigsaw. The jigsaw? Yeah, that, that is a fun, fun tool. So just a, a quick recap, everyone who is watching, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Um, we made a custom house sign with numbers and we used half we made half of it out of poplar wood and half of it out of tile with a half inch piece of plywood as the backer. And then we used a Schluter trim piece in the middle and then trimmed out the entire border with wood. Um, this is a hexagon shape. It's a little bit, I would say this is like an intermediate DIY project. If you want to make it a little bit more simple on yourself, you can make it a square would be a lot easier. Or if you just used all wood as well, would make it a lot less complicated. Um, we used these three tools provided by Home Depot. The Ryobi brand is an awesome brand to have around the house. 
or if you are a DIYer or first time home buyer like Shauna will be soon in the future, um, I would give these tools to her to bring to her new house and have on hand when she wants to do a project or fix something. So thank you guys for watching again. I really appreciate it. And down below, I will drop a link with a list of all the materials and tools you will need to complete this project. Thanks for watching. Bye.